If there is one thing that can make or break a manga series, it is the protagonist's ability to copy and cancel another character's power. That, and he needs some sort of super broken ability. The power to negate, copy, and cancel the abilities of others are always a popular trend in manhwas. From characters who can reject the powers of others to those who can reproduce the skills and techniques of others. Many manhwa series present them as a source of conflict. These characters' powers allow them to outperform their rivals, giving them a decisive edge over anyone they face in battle. Let's look at the 10 mangas where the MC uses these powerful abilities. Number 10. Infinite Apostles and 12 War Girls This is underrated as hell, also, is this really a Chinese manhwa? I mean, I get my standard for Chinese manga is pretty low, but this is some good stuff right here. Fantasy OP This manga got everything in terms of story, art, MC. This is one of the best mangas out there. He is recognized as the strongest existence, standing at the top of the world, wealth, fame, power? It's not worth mentioning in his eyes. The strongest apostles fled and startled the human continent for the reason, don't get me wrong, Lao Zi came to look for his future wife. Yes, it's a story about the strongest single apostle ever looking for a wife. Give it a shot, man. Number 9. Your talent is mine. I was excited to see the more chapters releasing, this manga got a lot of potential. Your Talent Is Mine is also one of the best mangas where the MC can copy steal other people's power. Also it got some nice story plot too. The young man, Yi Tian, obtains the ability to copy the talents of others and now fights against the heavens to change his fate. He struggles to survive and protect his sister from the apocalypse of the alien beast invasion. In order to become stronger, he begins to explore the unknown world and gradually reveals the secret behind the invasion of the alien dimensions. The story is good, it uses the term talent in place of ability. I also love those kinds of stories. There are several Chinese manhwas that do the same thing. Talent is something that helps you develop your abilities. Everyone knows that. The art is average though. Number 8. Updater this is really original, at first I thought it was your RPG kind of plot, Aiden was a normal albeit glitch NPC trying to make ends meet to support his sister when suddenly the all powerful system administrator appeared and deleted his whole town during routine maintenance due to his particular glitch. Aiden instead gains the power of an administrator, but it's a little too late as his sister slowly fades into nothing in his arms. With his new administrator update abilities, Aiden swears to get revenge on the unseen overlords of his world. He'll stop NPCs from ever being deleted again. I would recommend this to everybody, honestly. Number 7. Solo Max Level Newbie It starts off normally like you expect it to, but the story is more realistic and much better one. It's literally one of the best mangas where the MC can copy skills. Kang jin Yook, a gaming streamer and content creator, is the only person who has cleared the game. However, as the game's popularity declines, it becomes increasingly difficult for him to continue making a living as a content creator. jin Yook prepares to end his 11-year long relationship with the game and say goodbye to his humble group of subscribers. But on that very day, the Tower of Trials appears in reality with a message saying that humanity will perish unless all players clear each floor within 90 days. Jin Hyuk, who knows the game better than anyone, decides to use his knowledge to his advantage and dominate the tower. It's time to show everyone what a hardcore gamer can do. It's a good read as well, so yeah. Number 6. The Lord's Coins Aren't Decreasing? I believe it has a lot of potential and it's a very good story. Aaron Steelguard's fortune was basically set as he discovered a book that allowed him to trade across dimensions until his enemies take both his life and his riches away. But Aaron is brought back as his younger self, armed with his past knowledge and a chance at revenge. Now, free to amass coins, he's getting puff powy puff puff deep I'm kidding. He's gaining powerful abilities and moving the ranks of the interdimensional trading markets. Will Aaron gain enough coins to survive this journey of vengeance and reclaim his honor? Well, I enjoy reading it. 
You will too. Number 5. Charlotte. It was a great anime because I cried. Anything worth crying over is good. Very few adolescent boys and girls have an onset of special abilities. Yu Otosaka uses his ability unbeknownst to others in order to lead a satisfying school life. And then a girl named Nao Tamori suddenly appears before him. Their encounter reveals the destiny of wielders of special abilities. The main character figures out that this weird power is weird, of course, so he tries to benefit from it. This power is limited but useful anyways. And I'm not gonna say more about it because it's gonna be considered a spoiler, so yeah. Number 4. Triple S Class Suicide Hunter This manga surprised me. In the mysterious RPG dungeon-like tower, Confucius Kim lives a mundane existence envying all the star hunters. One day his wish for more is granted with a legendary skill to copy others' abilities, at the cost of his life. Before he can make sense of it, he's killed by the number one hunter, the Flame Emperor. But this activates his skill and now he's copied a new one. The ability to travel back in time upon death, how will Confucius use these skills to outplay the combination and rise to the top? It is actually pretty good. The plot is original and the characters are well written. Hope it gets better or at least keep this quality. I totally recommend it. And the story is so 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 good. Number three, Nano Machine. It was very interesting. This is one of the very first martial artists that has the theme of it, you know, with this manga. I had been reading since it was released, after being held in disdain and having his life put in danger, an orphan from the future who inserts a nano machine into Chun Yu Wun's body, which drastically changes Chun Wu Yu's life after its activation. The story of Chun Yu Wun's journey of bypassing the demonic cult and rising to become the best martial artist had just begun. One of the best and satisfying martial arts mangas. The art is great and the story is exceptionally good. Number 2. Solo Leveling Ah, uh, this time I put it on second place, eh? I love solo leveling, don't get me wrong, but E-Class Hunter Jin Wu Sung is the weakest of them all. Looked down on by everyone, has no money, no abilities to speak of, and no other job prospects. So when his party finds a hidden dungeon, he is determined to use this chance to change his life for the better, but the opportunity he finds it is a bit different from what he had in mind. Now, I personally like solo leveling, if it was up to me, I'd give it a score like a 10 from a 10, but when you break it down it has some flaws. I see comments like it's just your typical weak to strong, but not really. It's more than that man, it's like you're forgetting literally every single other aspect of the story if you just focus on everything else. Number 1. Tensei Shitara Slime Dataken Mikami's middle age hasn't gone as he planned. He never found a girlfriend, he got stuck in a dead-end job, and he was abruptly stabbed to death in the street at 37. So when he wakes up in a new world, straight out of a fantasy RPG, he's disappointed. But not exactly surprised to find that he's not a knight or a wizard, but a blind slime demon. But there are chances for even a slime to become a hero. In general, it's pretty good. It has an excellent story and an excellent detailed artwork as well. It does a pretty good job at keeping the story engaging. A few of the characters stand apart from the crowd, though the majority of them don't. It's able to have a main character, Rimuru, who grows immensely overpowered yet still has threats like actually challenge them. Overall, it's pretty good, man. That's all for today. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, then give this video a like and share it with your friends and your family. Ah, <sighs> subscribe for the top 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 10 to get more and of course stay safe and take care my name is zeta khan and i'm the voice of the voiceless see you next time